whereby nonprofits play a significant role managing the people and places of the city, distributing social welfare goods and services, and implementing policy. And so I'm going to argue today, as I do in the book, that we have to understand the contemporary landscape as a response by white policymakers at the local and the federal level to demands for inclusion by Black and Latinx residents. And while there's lots of cheer about the entry of neighborhood-based organizations into local governance, right, it makes governance more diverse, more decentralized, and more participatory, it's also helped perpetuate racial and economic inequalities and funnels democratic rights through private organizations. So put simply, when we think about the history of the nonprofit sector, this is also a history of public policy and politics and a history of race and racism. And these stories cannot be disentangled. 